Olympian cyclist Cashy Lukes is no stranger to the bicycle, but even he struggled to get to grips with riding this penny farthing. These bikes, along with many others from as far back as 1818, were on display at the Settlers Museum as part of an interactive afternoon event. So the idea is that um, children get to experience bikes um, over um, a whole spectrum of, of time, so right from the very earliest bikes, um, f um, some from 1818, right through to Velotron bikes and sort of futuristic um, bikes of the future. McDermott says the exhibition showcased the changes in the bicycles since some of the earliest models. Those include advances in the design of pedals, chains, suspension and even materials used on frames. And for those willing to get on the most awkward of bikes, it was a chance to appreciate the penny farthing. Yeah, pretty good. It's, it's quite hard. Um, it's quite hard to get on the penny farthing and it's um, even harder, I think, to get off. Um, and also just steering it um, seems to be quite a challenge. But um, yeah, most of them have success. We've had no one crash, so yeah, pretty good. Others were more interested in testing their stamina by taking a ride on these models. They're Velotron bikes, so um, they measure the speed and um, your power input that you put as you're cycling. And on one, one of the bikes, the two children sit on them and they race each other to see who's the fastest. And on the other one, um, the children are, are racing the Tour de France. McDermott says the Velodrome bikes were the most popular, with several teenagers competing for the fastest times, although there were no such races on these high wheelers. John McKenzie, 39 Deneen News.